Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrader.com and today we are looking at our Kuwait MV 2.0 2 bike rack here on our 2020 Mitsubishi Outlander. Now this is a really nice bike rack if you are looking for something that has all the nice premium features as well as how it can tilt away with our Outlander and this one's extra special since it has a bike repair stand. One of its features is that it can tilt away and to do so you pull on this lever and that drops down and this allows you to open your rear door on your car. So as you can see with our rear door there's plenty of clearance between the door and the bike allowing us to get in there maybe grab your helmets or your bags or your water all without taking your bike off. To get it back into position, you can just lift it up here and it snaps into place. Now this bike rack has a weight capacity of 60 pounds, which is awesome with your electric bikes or your heavy bikes. It also has this wheel mount, so it works with like what we have here, our carbon frame bike, as well as alternate frame bikes like your women's bike, children's bikes. If you have a step through electric bike, this is a really good bike rack for that. Looking at the way our bike is mounted to this bike rack, if you want to take it off, what I like to do first is take the wheel straps off, just like that, and put those to the side. Then we go over here to the front, press this button, hold on to your bike while you do so, and then lift that hook up and out of the way. From here, you can lift your bike up and you are ready to go on a bike ride. With our bike off, we can put these wheel straps away. But first, let's take a look at how they have this nice rubber lining just to protect your wheel from extra scuffs and scratches. They also have these integrated cable locks on the end of the bike rack, and these two are key to like. You can see here the wheel mount. Before I put it away, you can watch how it ratchets down to secure your wheel, and it folds right up over there. Now when you do have a bike rack on your vehicle, there is some length added to it. Let's take some measurements. So from our back bumper all the way to the end of the bike rack, which is by this repair stand, it sits at 36 and a quarter inches. Now that's actually a fair amount of length, just something to keep in mind when you are backing into your garage or parking into a tight spot. Now let's look at ground clearance. So over here at the end of our bike rack, which is by the repair stand, it sits at 18 and a half inches. Now for ground clearance closer to our shank, it sits at 10 and a quarter inches. Ground clearance is something you need to think about if you're going up a steep driveway or a steep hill. This can also fold up and to do so, you pull on the lever again and you fold it up. Now in this position, you can access your bike repair stand. Also, this makes it a lot shorter. Let's see exactly how much. So from our back bumper to the end of the bike rack, which is by this anti-rail knob, it's 17 and three quarter inches. Now for closest point between our bike rack and our vehicle, it's at seven and three quarter inches. This fits into our two inch hitch receiver. Since this bike rack has a two inch solid shank, now you can also get it with an inch and a quarter shank to fit into your inch and a quarter hitch receiver. It works exactly the same way, just has a different shank size. This comes with a hitch lock here at this end, which has a nice little bottle opener. Now that key is key to like for the locks on our cable locks on each chain. You don't need any tools to install this bike rack. You just need to pop it into your hitch receiver and tighten it down with this anti-rail knob over here. Now, as you can see, as I shake our bike rack around, I'm mainly moving the vehicle at this point. First, we'll take it onto our slalom course. This will show you the side-to-side -side action, such as making turns or evasive maneuvers. Now we're at the alternating speed bumps. This will show you how it looks driving on uneven pavement or potholes. Finally, we're at the solid speed bumps, which simulates going into your driveway or parking lots.
My final thoughts about this bike rack is I really do like how it has all the nice premium features. It can fit your fat tire bikes, it's very easy to use. You can fit your heavy electric bikes and it tilts away to allow access to our Outlander here without taking our bikes off. So that was a look at the Kuat NV 2.0 bike rack here on our 2020 Mitsubishi Outlander.